Is goed. Hi, ik ben Rutger. Ik uh, zou graag mijn haar vandaag laten blonderen en het een beetje bij me laten knippen. Um, ja, gewoon ietsje korter. Misschien uh, kun je er nog iets uh, anders mee doen als je yeah. iets erin zit of zo, dan is het ook helemaal goed. Maar gewoon een lekker los kapsel. Ja, inderdaad. Een beetje los kapsel, dat is vaak hoe ik het draag. Uh, ik zou het graag een beetje natuurlijker blond willen. Mm -hmm. Misschien ietsje, ietsje donkerder en dan met wat lichtere highlights. Dat, uh, okay. Zoiets zou mij mooi lijken in ieder geval. Ja. Maar uh, nou ja, ik ben in ieder geval heel benieuwd. Lekker, het komt wel goed. Lekker de highlights denk ik. Ja, ja dat lijkt me okay. mooi. Mm -hmm. Oké, okay. uh, ja, dat is goed. Ja, de rest zien we wel. Hello friends on YouTube, gonna do a look his hair. Now he wants uh, to light up his hair, the color, and he wants highlights in that, and he wants uh, a nice hairstyle. So I start mm -hmm. with cutting, and then I'm going to lighting up his hair. I was off for a week because I worked for a foundation for seven days, so that's why there were no new videos, only that I made on the Gate of the Waal, it's a river here near to Nijmegen. Start by wetting the hair. That's the first time he models me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's the boyfriend of Steph. Of the Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah Marilyn Monroe. Look alike. Do you often get requests for lookalikes? Or? Oh, no, 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 not often. No. No. This was a coincidence. Yeah, she looks yeah. like it. Yeah, that's right. I have two girls who look like Madame Monroe. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I will make the sides a lot smaller because it's sticking out a lot. Mm -hmm. I take a lot of the weight from the back yeah. and we'll get a nice vibrant on top. I should have combed it this morning. Oh, it doesn't matter. Also, like Stella, I cut it myself last time, so it, <laughs> it can be a bit messy. I'm sorry for that. It doesn't matter. That's for me, then. I find that the most beautiful are often the ones who, for example, top models, who cut often between their hair. That's what I find actually the most beautiful. Yeah. That they don't have the understanding of cutting. Yeah, precisely. Make it just more natural. Interesting. Yeah, indeed. Now I took away all the hairs from the side, so just on the bending of the skull, I'm going to start his cut. Lift the hairs up in the line of the eyebrow lines. Take a medium comb and a light chisel. And just gently take off some hair, leaving about the length of a finger. I don't want to make him a military look because I don't think it's the guy for it. <laughs> no, a bit longer would be nice. Yeah. yeah. Thank God we don't need to go to the military. No, not anymore. No, then I would have asked for a military. Uh, ah. but maybe I would have uh, wanted an army. Uh, like an army print. <laughs> with friend. green uh, with yeah. camouflage. Yeah, camouflage. Yeah. That would be something. Clean a contour line. Set out the side beard. And hold all the lines a bit soft. So don't go into there with, with a clipper. Turn a bit more. Mm -hmm. Stay working in the same line. Be aware of skull bones. The skull bone is laying here. And now push the hair to the front to get it to in the real length that it needs. And here is lovely sound of this Kyoto scissor. It's especially made for a men hairstylist. It has the old feeling of. Uh, Mm -hmm. It sounds nice. Scissors. Yeah, it's manly sound. Mm -hmm. But it's also the, the feeling of the whole tool is yeah. like manly. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the first time I cut his hair, so I also have to watch how the hair grow is. 
and then I see the up lines are very high. And here's a large skull, so I have to take care of that also. So I don't make it too short. But when I would do this with a clipper, it looks a bit silly because then the hair is so high up that it doesn't look good. I stay watching into his hair. It's very nice practice for Cicero of Com Techniques. And while I come in the center of his skull, I'm going to go in a straight level because there the hairs mostly go down and I have to go to the other side. So there I lift up again. Show you that in a second. Every time go against the natural flow. So watch how the hair flows and then I come form a catch in my quad and I go in the opposite lines of it. Get a nice real soft line. So now I'm on the center of his skull, mm -hmm. and here you see, I get a bit too far, doesn't matter, it's free country, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> so now he's sitting on the center, you see there's a small wiggle in it, but not much, but it goes straight down even when it's a wiggle line, but that's just because his natural shapes are in his hair, and I didn't wash it before, because it's clean hair. And I love to see how the hair flows because when the hair, I can mm. see how the hair flows, I get always a better end result. Mm. I also learn a lot uh, yeah. right now. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you become a hairdresser. <laughs> yeah, you can learn it from the videos. Yeah, these are good tutorials. Yeah. When you follow the lines, and I always tell uh, my staff members. Um, when you want to learn what I, how I do hair, yeah. just sit down yeah. at the computer, start a video and cut with me. Yeah. You don't have to really cut hair to have the feeling, mm -hmm. because when you're going near to the, 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 the screen, you see what I'm doing and you can copy that. Yeah. In the meantime, you see that my, that my comb is lifting up again and goes to the other eyebrow. So only on the center line, I have a straight position of my comb. Move my clip a bit. So you can see what I'm doing. Eyebrow lines, this is eyebrow line. Go in, hold my comb in the same position. My scissor also, so I lift them up in the eyebrow lines. And they always connect to the skull bone. That's also with the chin lines. The chin lines also connect to the skull bone because when I go in here, I always go up to the eyebrow and from the eyebrow to the chin line. Oh. Like a pressure, yeah. yeah. In the meantime we talk Dutch because we are Dutch. English is fine too. Yes, yeah, also yeah. nice to be African Dutch. Yeah. We also know a bit English. Yeah, I think so. The most too. Especially young people. Yeah. yeah. When we speak Dutch, they mostly think we're German and that mm. we're not. Mm. But our languages look a bit similar in the way we talk with each other. Yeah. Yes, there and I were in Germany for a holiday and 
it's, it is quite easy to follow a conversation. Okay, yes. It's not yes. really less so to speak German, that's harder. Yeah, for, for me it's easier because yeah. I was yeah, brought up with TV yeah. only in the German. Oh. They had more on TV than we yeah. as Dutch had mm. when I was young. Yeah, yeah, by TV you can uh, learn a language. Yeah, well. especially when you're young. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's I think also that's, how I learned English. Yeah, yeah. and, the, and the, the craziest thing is that when you see TV in black and white, you always yeah. think in colors. That's also nice. Mm. That's interesting actually. Yeah. Yeah, because TV was in black and white, I always think about these times in black and white, and that's a bit weird actually. No, no, I, I, did, I never did. I always thought yeah. in colors because. Yeah. Some colors you already know from trees and grass and the yeah, air, yeah, 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 skylines, the yeah. sun. Yeah, I think you would know all the colors. Yeah, the even in yeah. black and white. Yeah, yeah. Now, so far, this now I clean up this with the clipper only uh, underline, not the side bears because I want to leave them the way they are. So I clean this up and then clean the neckline, and then I start by giving a nice trendy hairstyle on top. Gently lay the hairs the way I want them, being aware that they don't go high up because otherwise I get a too long neckline. I didn't have time to charge my uh, clipper yet, so you can hear this. Mm -hmm. Go to the other side, do the same. Holding a nice soft line, not too hard. With a free hand style. I only take away the movement of it. This always place is a bit thicker, but then I shape it off. So now I can start on this upper hair. Now I freed the clips, so I see that the uh, weight on the back is a lot more because. Yeah, he cut his own hair, so mm -hmm. there's a lot of weight yeah. on the back. And the front is even at the length, I think, is most wonderful on his skull. So mm -hmm. I start on the sides, take my first uh, parts, about just one half centimeters hair. And now I go in and just use slight techniques. So just jump in with the scissor, start about uh, three centimeters from the skull make the, the nice rough lines not even on the length I do this afterwards pull the hairs to the front work in the skull lines take a new line on it put my scissor in and just shape the hairs This is uh, Kiona 7, it's a very, very sharp tool, you can even shave with it if you want, like to. Mm. And now you see it's getting off the weight of his hair. Go to the other side. Can you can dry it? Can you clap it? Yeah. yeah. So, so. Mm -hmm. Go to the other side, take away first 3 centimeters, 2.5, 3 centimeters, just go in. Slice the hairs. Pull the head to the front. Get in the running of cutting. Take a new part on it. And the strange thing is, if you would cut your fingers with this scissor, mm -hmm. you don't even feel it. That sharp. So sharp. Yeah.
the upper hair do slice cutting on top. Now go to the back. I see here's a lot of weight hanging down. This I do by lifting up and slice cutting from beneath. Take away the weight. And even some length of course. Gently go in, stay away from the hairs you already cut. But make a connection, just lifting up, see the hairs fall and go in with the scissor. I can do this in slow motion so you can see it. And I'm closing while I'm cutting up. So don't pull the hairs because that doesn't feel good for the person who's in the chair. And just play with hairs. So go in, go up, in slow motion. And then wiggle the hairs a bit so you can see what you did. And you see I took away a lot of the weight of these hairs. So now I can go slice cutting in length. I hope you learned something. Now I go in with my slicing scissor and just make a rough upline. Getting a creative effect in it. Go around with, in the circle of his skull, keeping the length long, and just holding a playable effect on the sides. There no hard lines in it. Take this over to the fringe. Just give it a playable effect. Take only away the ends. Just a bit, not too much. And I created a nice soft men's hairstyle, but that I can get also into a nice color. So if you want to lift the color a bit up, then get highlights in it. Um, even thinking to get the frame in this natural color, because then you have more uh, diversity in the colors, and more mm. strong lines. So I can start with coloring. Ik kan geen makkelijk zien. Bold hair staat met Oké, okay. ik sta het wel een keer op zoeken. <laughs> Als je dan helemaal klikt, zeker bij Facebook, dan blijf je kijken. Talking about bold hair starts. I don't think it's a hair style, it's just bold. But, and when you have no hair, it's no hair style. Nee. Uh, I see them off because I watch that uh, hair styles. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see all the Chinese girls uh, go out with a plastic wig. Put on the protection and now I'm going to uh, part the hairs on my way. Before I start uh, coloring his hair, I'm going to part it the same way as I started the hair. Cut. Lay the hair aside. Put a bit of gel on it. This is only to take my foil on and the highlight I made is with 6% uh, so it's not the hardest highlight and the bleach I made is also with 6%. Here put the foil on so I'm certain that the hairs don't mix and the colors stay separate. Easier to do, but yeah. I'm on, on my own, only the lonely, mm. only the lonely. And it don't have to be a perfect line because his hair is uh, cut in different lengths, so don't have to be a straight line.
take away the clips and now apply the highlight. The highlight is cool highlight, it's uh, 1272 of Lakme. Told you only with 3%, so it's not much. Uh, sorry, it's 6%, 20 volume. And you can put highlights on with 12%, and then you get the maximum result. Mm. Now come the hairs in a position that they normally would lay so over the foil. Watch the natural shapes, of course. In the center, I spread the hairs. You can already see the hair is a little bit lighting up. Mm. Then I take some bleach and just give small effects in it, not too much. Just lay them over the color so they can be in one color line but only lighter. The bleach I use is of uh, Keune. Just where you get a feeling I have to get some lights in, just keep the lights there. This is a cover up with a carton wick and then close my plastic foil. The carton wick is just to um, get the freedom for the bleach to get up and not down, so it just stays on top. I don't want it into the hairs because then it becomes a zebra. And that's not the nicest effect. No. <laughs> so just lay them on top and they always rise because it's a powder product and bleach rise, so it goes up and not down anymore. Close my plastic foil. Wait for um, 30 minutes because it's highlight and bleach on top, so it works very slowly. Don't get any extra heat on it, just leave it the way it is. We'll be back. Okay, he's back from coloring. After 30 minutes, uh, re rinse the tart. This is the anti result in the wet hair and you see how wonderful the combination is between his natural colors and the blonde colors and when it grows back it also so gives a shadow into his hair. I use the silver shampoo you can see there. Let's take that away. When you have blonde hair it's always nice to use the silver shampoo. But not uh, that of Schwarzkopf because that's for old people and not for young people. <laughs> Now men's hair you don't do it with a round brush because I want to get a wild hairstyle, not a smooth hairstyle. So I just pull the hairs a bit because then I get all the string in the hairs. Because when you don't pull the hairs you never get a strong hairstyle. Dus dan weet je ook dat je ja. een klein beetje aan je aan moet trekken als je ja. loopt. Dat geeft namelijk en een ontspanning van de hoofdtuin. Maar tevens, ja. als je aan die haar een beetje gaat hangen, haal je de rek er een beetje uit. Dus wordt je sterker, wordt het strakker, strakker. Oké. Okay. Dus stuur de kapsels naar uit. Ik leer je heel veel. <laughs> dat is toch fijn? Ja. Nou, dat is toch fijn. Oh, steeds. Mooi. Het lijkt me heel erg grappig om te doen. Mm. Want wij als man hebben gelijk zo'n heel apart stemmetje ook, hè? Ja, dat lijkt mij ook wel wat. <laughs> dat lijkt me ook wel grappig. Ik hoor je niet. Ik heb het van een stemmetje 
dat ik van een stemmetje ben. Ja, een beetje wel. Ja, een beetje. Just let the wind do the work because uh, I think it looks nice. The sofa blow drying. Ja, ik ben nu letterlijk. Ik kan het zo doen. Oh, dat is te gek. Oh, leuk. Het ziet er echt heel nice uit. Ook die blonde plukjes met die highlights, dat is leuk. Daarvoor. Mm. In de hair put a power paste. Power paste is of uh, Keunen. It's a strong product. It's a clay product. It's also a playable product. Mm. You can do yeah, a lot of yeah, crazy whoa. stuff with it if you want to. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, you can do a lot of yeah. So you just wet your hands and you can do crazy stuff with it. Someone knocking on the door. The new model. And so far, his new haircut oh. and color. I thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye bye. You may turn around so you can see mm -hmm. the new hairstyle. Yeah. En thank you for modeling. Ja, yeah, thank you. Je moet er welkom. Is goed. Hi, ik ben Rutger. Ik uh, zou graag mijn haar vandaag laten blonderen en het een beetje bij me laten knippen. Um, ja, gewoon ietsje korter. Misschien uh, kun je er nog iets uh, anders mee doen als je yeah. erin zit of zo, dan is het ook helemaal goed. Maar gewoon een lekker los kapsel. Ja, inderdaad. Een beetje los kapsel, dat is vaak ook het.